What is going on, my lovely Virgos? It's your girl Raven, aka Triple P. What's up? Y'all doing good today? Because I am. So is my dog Golden. You know, we're just chilling, doing the usual shit. You feel me? <laughs> All right, so check it. Virgos. In case y'all didn't know by me saying Virgo and Virgo, Virgo. This is a Virgo reading, okay? But the thing is, though, is that you may not have to be a Virgo in order to resonate with these messages. Because, see, the deal is, is that you can have Virgo somewhere in your chart, you feel me? Or you could just know somebody that's a Virgo, you feel me? I don't know. Just take the energy as it resonates and please leave what does not for who it belongs to, okay? That's all I ask, okay? We good? We good? All right. To my new and my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for returning. That is extremely important to me and to the channel. It certainly helps it grow, which is I'm asking you kindly to please thumbs up the video. Helps the uh, channel to grow. All right. So, my lovely Virgos. Y'all readings be off the chain, so I don't know. But we're going to see, right? All right, Holy Spirit, can you please tune me into the collective energy of Virgo? What is going on for Virgo? What's going on, my Virgos, huh? Let's communicate. Let's see what spirits say. All right, Virgo. So something's going down. Something about the dark web. Um, what's it say? Okay, something could have happened at the store. There's an entanglement situation. We have Odin's room, Uru's, which means um, the keywords are survival, endurance, or life force. So you could be surviving something here. Going through a survival moment, okay? Uh, dog walking. So this could have something to do with somebody walking their dog or something. Cry me a river. So somebody here could be um, just wanting to apologize to you about something. Somebody here could just really, really crying over something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me keep going. Okay. What else for Virgo? What's going on, Virgo? Jeez. I flipped like a ninja star. All right. Could be going through a divorce. You could be divorcing your situation. You could be divorcing someone out of your life. Oh man, someone here could be having a conniption. <laughs> if you don't want to, if you don't know what a conniption is, it's someone who's um, having a fit of rage or hysteric. Someone's hysterical about something. Someone's having a bitch fit. Having a a bf bitch fit. <laughs> Anything else for Virgo before we get started? Okay. All right, Virgo. Your best friend or friend is catfishing you. Or, you know, take that how it resonates. You have a distrustful energy around you that's a friend. Uh, your higher self, a spirit's telling you to listen to your higher self. You may uh, be learning a life lesson here. We have Odin's rune, Nautis, which means need fire. The key words are necessity, friction, restraint, innovation, life lessons, and urgency. So something urgent could be going on. This could be a life lesson. Someone here could be crushing on you. And someone here has definitely fallen on their own sword here, Virgo. Most definitely. Someone here could be keeping tabs on you too. All right. Let's get into cards here see what's going on virgo all right so holy spirit please keep me tuned into the collective energy of virgo can you please clarify for me this dark web energy what's this dark web energy I just heard about five people running extremely fast down my hallway. I don't know if y'all could hear that or not, but I didn't know if someone's going to come crashing through the door or not. I know Odin heard it because I heard him in there whimpering. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? Hold on one second. Let me just pause for a second. Sorry. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So by the time I went out there, they're already gone, you know. So, everything's cool. I just want to make sure when like, no raid or something going on in one of my neighbors or shit. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> okay. So, I mean, take it how it resonates. I mean, that could be part of the message here. That there could be um, something coming in fast. It's like a rushing energy. It's like a bunch of people running down the hallway. It could have just been kids. Like, somebody could be rushing in to tell you something. Somebody could be in a hurry. Or maybe something is just moving really fast, you know? What's the dark web for Virgo? 
Yeah, someone here might have been on the dark web to uh, try to persuade or bribe or tempt you or tempt somebody into something. Someone here may have used the dark web to, to tempt you into something or they may have bribed someone on the dark web to do something. What is the inducement in the dark web about? Okay, um, imagination. Somebody was fantasizing. Somebody had something on their mind. Um, and then we got confinement, captivity, tolerance, and freedom. What's the inducement in imagination? So, <clears throat> someone here could be going to jail. Spiritual jail. Sweetheart, pure, unconditional love, beloved. Hmm. Now, this could be somebody's fantasy. Somebody was tempted to go on a dark web and come against you. It doesn't have to mean that they actually did it. Someone may have, may have been fantasizing about this. This may be someone you're in a connection with or someone here that sees you as unconditional love or something like that. It's kind of weird. Let me keep going. What's a sweetheart in the dark web? Or maybe this is a, someone you thought was a sweetheart that was doing this. Gain, cultivation, profit, conclusion. Someone has something to gain by making you homeless or making you be a castaway or a failure or poor. What's, what else? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that was a stack too. Let me just redo it. Uh, oh, okay. All right, what, what else is dark web? All right, you're going to receive some news about it. Encouragement, miracle, or surprise. So you may be receiving some surprising news or a letter or something about how um, somebody did something. You're going to be surprised because you're going to find out that somebody's now homeless because they had something to gain by coming up against you because they was in their imagination about something. I'm going to call out some numbers here. These could be numerology, angel numbers. Take out resonance here, but a lot of times I call out zip codes, phone numbers, birthdays, all that jazz. I have 5263, 2125, 5342. What, what's the, let's move on here and I'll get to some tarot and don't worry, Virgo. I'll get to the story behind this shit. Don't worry. What's the entanglement? Oh my God, it fell out. What's the entanglement? Okay, introvert. This has something to do with someone who's introverted, uh, someone who likes their privacy, someone you may have separated themselves from, you may have separated yourselves from them, or an online community here. Um, maybe someone in this online community or someone you separate yourself from wants to apologize for trying to stop or block something here and causing a lot of damage here to a connection that was supposed to be repaired. I have apology. <laughs> stop. Loss maintenance so yeah i kind of feel like there's a situation going on here with someone that's in an online community or someone you separate yourself from okay you separate yourselves from them they feel guilty they want to apologize or they want to confess what they did because they were trying to stop like some they feel sorry for trying to block you from restoring something what's the maintenance Nightmare, suffering, darkness, persecution, and what's the nightmare maintenance? Okay, that's a lot. What's nightmare maintenance? Fright, depression, phobia, paranoid. Hmm. Entanglement is like a complicated ass situation here, okay? Someone here was trying to cause damage and trying to block you from repairing something, and now they're afraid. They caused disturbances here. Someone here was causing some sort of ruckus. Okay, let me move on. I'm going to um, call out some numbers. Okay, I have 6671. One two one three eight zero five seven. I'm gonna draw that back. Now says maintenance. Yeah, someone here wanted to destroy the idea, the vision that you may have had for you to repair something here. Eight zero four one. 
Um, okay, let me move on here. What is uh, Uru's for Virgo? This is survival. Okay, so you're sitting in your inner peace, you're calm, you're straight, you know how to meditate, you're living a simple life, okay? But I also feel that because you're in this, you have this inner peace, like you're a healing energy, and you know how to navigate, you know, certain situations here, somehow you've survived something that was meant to cause you an injury or accident, danger, caution, injury. Someone here wanted to cause danger to that sense of peace you have, but I really feel like that you've overcome a lot of struggles in your life by simply, you know, meditating and, and finding your inner peace, you know, your treasure, you know, and this can have something to do with a soulmate connection here or that you're, you have eternal love, you know, you have powers. One, four, one, six. What else for Uru's? Yeah. Aid, mercy, charity, kindness. What's the aid? Withdrawal, quit awakening, rejection. So you've survived a lot here, Virgo. You've been through a whole lot. You've been hurt a lot of times and you've, you've healed yourself by staying in your inner peace. But this also talks about how um, you are merciful. You know, you show mercy and charity and kindness to those who need, who need help. But this could also talk about how someone here also wanted you to be rejected, wanted you to be rejected when you asked for help. Like someone sees you like minding your business, you're at peace. And here they come in with the caution, the danger or whatever. Someone here wanted to maybe bring you to your knees and have it to where if you ask for help, nobody would want to help you. This could also talk about you having a, <clears throat> excuse me, having an awakening about helping those less fortunate than you simply because you've been hurt yourself and you've survived it, you know? Yeah. Strategy, planning, prediction, mattering. You know how to strategize around things. What's the strategy? One, four, one, six, one, seven, six, oh, four, eight, five, four, foul, wish, hope, worship. Yeah. You know how to, you know how to wish, I mean, not wish. Okay. You know how to pray. You know how to get on your knees and pray to the most high, to whoever you subscribe to. Okay. You know how to have hope. You know how to inspire hope. You know how to strategize so that you can survive on the grounds of your best faith and hope and your dreams. Okay. Let me move on. What's this divorce? Oh man. Damn. Okay. If this ain't crystal clear, I don't know what crystal clear is, uh, Virgo. We got marriage here. And then we got death. And then, damn, I didn't see this behind it. Justice. Okay, hold on. Let me draw this out, okay? Because I, I believe there's a story here. Hold on. Hey, yay, yay, yay. All right, Virgo. So listen up, okay? It may be time for you to get a divorce. You may be getting it. Someone may be wanting to divorce you. You may be divorcing yourself from a, from a, a, a codependent energy. Okay, this is definitely an ending here. Or, you know, and then we have the justice card here, which talks about court. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you may be going through a divorce. You may be divorcing this energy. You may be, um, yeah, you're, you're divorcing somebody, Virgo, because you've learned a powerful lesson here. We got live and learn, experience, training, development. This marriage really, really worked your ass. It worked you. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, okay? Okay, please one thing I need to really have a disclaimer about is that I am an inappropriate laugher. Okay. I laugh at things. I laugh at inappropriate situations and inappropriate times. If I see a kid fall off his bike and if it's funny, even though I feel for the kid and I'm so sorry and I would run over and try to help the baby, I will probably hold back giggling inside depending on how that baby fell off his bike. Okay. And it's wrong. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm just a goofball. Okay. I don't mean any harm by it. So if I, if I, Giggle or anything in my videos, you know, when I'm reading, please don't take it personally, okay? And I apologize in advance, okay? Um, I know I've heard, and I mean, um, in my personal relationships, I've discovered that I was actually um, making people misread me that way. Um, I, my, even my ex-husband told me that um, before he passed away, 
he was telling me that he thought I was laughing at him and his misfortune. And it really wasn't it. It was just the irony of things, you know. But, yeah, so I'm not laughing at someone getting a divorce here. That's what I'm getting at. I'm sorry, okay. But it's just, you know, the energy definitely of somebody here who has just been worked. Like, you're tired, Virgo. You are, you've learned a lot from this energy. Dude. You've been worn out. I just, feel, I could just see it in my head, all the yelling, all the arguing, all the fighting, all the back and forth. Like, you, you know, this is definitely a lesson to be learned here. Justice is here to bring you your truth and your clarity and your balance in this situation so that you can get what you need out of this divorce, okay? Someone here could very well be going through that. Or like I said, you could be divorcing yourself from a situation or somebody else who just doesn't need to be there anymore. What else? Luck. Your luck is here. What's the luck? The jackpot, the fortune reward. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're about to hit a jackpot. You're about to have good fortune and reward. You're about to be able to sit comfortable, be easy, be satisfied in your sweet dreams. And this has, and your family, too. Bond, home background. Only through divorce, okay? I want to say this, okay? When my husband passed away, we weren't officially divorced. We were just separated, heading towards divorce. But, um, you know, separating myself from him, we never actually got to reach divorce. You know what I'm saying? He died before we got there. But my point, though, is that Separating myself from him is what made our family happier because we fought so much when we were together. When we separated, we learned how to be best friends and to, and to co-parent, you know, with our children, and it made things easier. And it wasn't easy at first. I mean, I fought it kicking and screaming, to be real with you, because I didn't want to give up. But, you know, sometimes, you know, if you can't get along with somebody, the best thing you can do for yourself is to, you know, separate yourself from that person and just see it for what it is, you know. When you go through a divorce, I mean, just take your situation is your own situation. Take it how it resonates here, you know. I'm just sharing my own personal experience and the experience of my family and my friends around me you know but you know you know it's you know it's much better when you divorce somebody to just focus on being their friend you know don't focus on what didn't work out you know what you didn't get to do the things that didn't work out this you know just really focus on just really being their friend you know now if you're dealing with an abusive situation or something like that you know you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta cut them off not ever talking to me I, hey do what you gotta do okay you know, please don't try to be somebody's best friend divorcing them if they've been putting their hands on you, whatever, okay? I'm just saying, like, you know, use your own personal discernment, all right? But it's the best way to get through things, okay? You, there might have been a lot of conflict going on in your uh, marriage, you know? A lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You must have went through a lot in this marriage. Somebody here was screaming for attention all the time. You guys were breaking up and getting back together. There were third-party situations here. We have protests and compromise. In the compromise card, there's a man standing in between two women who are fighting. So, you know, there might have been a lot of third parties involved here. Somebody might have went to jail or somebody might have had a victim mindset. Bam, curse. Hate, catastrophe, misfortune. There was just a lot of misfortune in this marriage that you were in, Virgo. This connection, okay? A whole lot, you know, and it's time to, and it was time to bring attention to the issues that was going on in this situation so that you can heal from them and move on into your best path. Okay. Definitely. What else? Let me see what this conniption is. What's the conniption? All right. This could have something to do with a tarot reading or a fate, um, a fortune teller. You could be a reader, your person may be a reader, or whatever, or someone may have had a reading done and it pissed them the fuck off. What's the fate and the conniption? Someone got a reading done, maybe, and gained some sort of advice or knowledge here with the coach card that is uh, stressing them out. Overload, excess, obligation. So somebody's having a mental breakdown, like an overload, after having a reading done and gaining some sort of advice as to what was really going on around them, okay? Somebody here, they're just, they're lying about something. So this could be you finding out something after having a tarot reading done, or it doesn't have to be tarot reading, it could be, it could be anything. You know, you basically found out some information after, you know, after gaining some sort of insight here, okay? And, um, <laughs> and when you found out that this energy was lying to you or deceiving you or something, was wearing a mask here, you know, in order to, you know, maybe somebody here got embarrassed or maybe there was some sort of gossip going on here. So you flew out, you or somebody in your energy flew off the handle probably when they found out that somebody was lying to them. 
<clears throat> I also have the sense that um, somebody here was stressed out wearing a mask. And the only reason why they was wearing it is because they were afraid of being embarrassed or gossiped about or bullied here. What else? What else is the conniption? You're chilling, relaxation, peace, tranquility, easiness. What's the relaxation and the conniption? Because those are definitely opposite of each other. <laughs> so what is that about? Uh, uh, eternal love, eternity, consistency, soulmate, and then um, at the bottom, triumph, success, victory, achievement. So somebody here is throwing a fit because they had a tarot reading done and they see that you're chilling, you're, you're at peace. And not just that, but you're, you're having success, you're having victory and achievement with a soulmate. Like you're moving on with your soulmate, you might be coming into union with your twin flame, whatever. Doesn't have to be, you know. I'm just saying that you're having victory, you know, you're chilling here. And somebody, somebody that had a reading done and found out that you, yeah, friendship, team, connection, network. Some, somebody here is, uh, hold on, what's the friendship? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you're celebrating. You could be celebrating. You may have found a new soul tribe, somebody who has the same religion, the same beliefs you do. Or this you could have, or someone here in your friendship group could have been praying or something behind your back for something to happen. We got libation and friendship, and then we have blind here. Um, something unknown that was going on here. Because they were in their pride and ego, and their goal was to uh, use magic to confuse you and confuse your harmony and your acceptance. Someone was sitting in their pride and ego, and their goal was to use magic or create a mystery or something like that or, or do a ceremony or write on you to cause confusion as far as what your stability and your harmony and your acceptance is. Like somebody wanted to confuse you and that shit didn't work so they're having a fit now. Let me let me get into some cards. This is wild, dude. People really need to get a fucking life. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this other deck. Okay, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of the collective Virgo. Can you please clarify this entanglement? Dark web. What's the dark web and entanglement about? Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Group conflict, a group of people doing some unsavory type activities. So, there's a situation going on around a group of people that got together with one common goal and it didn't work out. Or they're fighting. There's a group of people fighting amongst each other. Because some sort of situation that they've involved themselves in, involving the dark web here, Virgo, just did not work out. What's this Three of Pentacles in reverse? Page of Swords in reverse. This could talk about gossip or manipulation. Someone here could have been manipulated. Um, or someone here was all talk. So maybe something didn't take off the way it was supposed to in order to do something against you. I don't know. Um, what's this Page of Swords in reverse with the Three of Pentacles reverse? Ooh, hit me in the face. And it fell on top of the Queen of Swords, too. Queen of Swords is Libra energy. She's clear-headed. She's, uh, love, you know, so she makes um, honest decisions. And she sets boundaries, okay? Um, and then we got the Moon. Pisces energy. Talks about uh, your subconscious energy. Things that are hidden, unknown. Your dream state, your subconscious. So someone here was trying to hide a Queen of Swords? That's weird. What's the Queen of Swords in the moon? Maybe you set boundaries with this group of people because you knew they were doing something that was unknown to you. What's the Queen of Swords in the moon? Yeah, you were dealing with a bullying ass energy here who had um, unfinished business. The Emperor in reverse, that's Aries energy. And then we got the Six of Swords in reverse, which means unfinished business or... Um, yeah, like emotional baggage. Somebody that won't, that won't let you go, that won't move on from something. Somebody who's in their ego, controlling, domineering, a tyrant. Yeah, so basically what I see here, Virgo, is that there's a group of people, or it doesn't have to be a group, but somebody was working with somebody unsavory online, okay? This could be a gossip forum or something like that, or just a bunch of people that are manipulative. They're all talk. They do things in haste, or this was an action that was done in haste. 
you know, like that page of swords in reverse, he jumps without thinking. So somebody might have been jumped, somebody might have jumped on some sort of immature idea without thinking about it through first. This could have been against a Libra or something like that, or just somebody here who set boundaries because there was something unknown, something hidden that was going on. And, in, and your intuition may have been telling you, Virgo, that something weird was going on with an with a masculine energy, or it could be feminine too, but somebody was in their ego about something. You just kind of knew that something wasn't right. There's something, this is a heal, an energy that has not healed and kind of like has a hard time healing or refusing to heal. Somebody has a hard time moving on from something. And um, they're in their ego. So you may have sensed this and realized that maybe something funny was going on. Maybe you cut cut things with them. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Justice. More Libra energy. So this has a lot to do with a Libra, maybe. You know, this could have a this could have something to do with court. So maybe, um, and then we got the Nine of Pentacles here, which could talk about you enjoying the fruits of your labor. What's the justice? Judgment in reverse. So you may have caught judgment on this situation or somebody made a bad judgment call. Someone has a lot of self-doubt and resentment about something that they did. And now justice is coming to you to right those wrongs here. We got the king of swords with the happy squirrel, which talks about your happy, you know, the king of wands talks, um, he's about like the bigger picture. He could be, he could represent like the bigger picture. So things are about to get extremely happy for you. This is your justice. And this is Leo energy. This could talk about, um, you know, like a masculine energy coming in, like a leader or some sort of whatever that's happy. What's the judgment in reverse? Yeah, somebody was holding back something that they did, holding on to something or trying to control you, trying to run your money or something like that. Somebody was trying to run something here. This could be an ex energy, someone you got kids with, someone you grew up with here, someone here uh, with the four of pentacles and the six of cups. And then we got, um, hold on. Then we got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone who got turned down or is just emotionally disappointed. All right. Um, let me go on here. What's the what's the what's uh Uros with um for Virgo? What's the Uros? What's that survival endurance life force situation about? Okay, I don't like the way that fell out, but we got the world here in the magician in reverse. So the, the world talks about the successful completion of a chapter, a cycle that's done, okay? We got the magician reverse. He could be manipulative, narcissistic in the reverse, or just someone who doesn't believe in himself, who's unable to manifest. So this chapter of you not being able to manifest things or feeling powerless or people being narcissistic or manipulating you or the cycle of the narcissist is done. It's done here, Okay. You might have been hesitating to walk away from something because you were confused. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse, which talks about hesitation. Eight of Cups talks about walking away from things. And then Seven of Cups can talk about confusion or many choices or, you know, many um, options, some good, some bad. So you might have had trouble <clears throat> walking away from this energy because there were a lot. You had a lot of options, a lot of choices, but, you know, they were leading to heartbreak here. Two of Cups in reverse. Or maybe someone here was confusing you about that relationship, which is why it was one-sided. Okay, what else? For Uros. Yeah, you had to make a difficult decision here with the Two of Swords. That's a little more Libra energy. <clears throat> Ace of Wands in reverse talks about hesitating, delays, frustration. Excuse me. Four of Cups in reverse talks about stagnation. So somebody here, you may have been extreme. It might have been really hard for you to make this decision to move forward. You were hesitating to move forward into a new beginning. Or you may have been try or you may have tried and got delayed and got frustrated or whatever. You know, but you survived and you endured through all of this, and now this chapter is over. Okay, the chapter of you not being able to do what it is you need to do, being held back, being manipulated, all of that is done, Virgo, most definitely. Okay, let me move on here. Holy Spirit, can you clarify, <clears throat> excuse me, for me what the divorce is about? Okay, too heavy. Too heavy for you. Ten of Wands, burdens, responsibilities. So you were very burdened by this marriage. And I mentioned before that, you know, all the things that, you know, could have gone on in this relationship, okay? Um, what's the Ten of Wands in a divorce?
Eight of Swords in reverse. You decided to release yourself from these burdens, from a negative mindset, from a victim mentality, because you wanted to move on and heal here. The stars in the reverse, which means a need to heal or being lost on your path. So I'm gonna turn it upright. That's Aquarius energy. But this is talks this talks about you needing, you know, new you needing to heal or wanting to heal, you know, you recognizing who you are, you know, you're the star of the show here, you know. Eight of Wands talks about traveling, getting away, you know, things manifesting quickly. And then the Hermit, that's Virgo energy. That's you. This is your inner wisdom, your guidance. You're following your intuition on this. So you've been heavily burdened for a while about all these things that's going on. And you've decided to set yourself free by healing yourself and moving forward. And things are picking up quickly for you. You know, you're, you're following your own inner guidance and your own, in, you know, your intuition. You know, um, what else for divorce? <sighs> Okay, we got Queen of Wands energy. She's Aries. What's the Queen of Wands? Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So you are so you are basically letting this stuff go because you intuitively you are being guided to a new happy beginning with you. It's like a coming out party. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's like the social butterfly. You know, she's sexy. This could be a masculine energy too. It doesn't have to be feminine. It's just the energy of, you know, being idolized, you know, you're focused, you're determined, you're joyful, you're funny, you know, in front of being around, you're very creative. She's very creative, you know. So this could be you going into hermit mode and having that coming out party and realizing, hey, I know who I am and I know how great of a person I am. And then you're getting this inheritance from the universe, the Ace of Pentacles. You know, this is definitely divine timing with the temperance here. You know, the temperance was in the reverse. So for a minute, you might have, you know, been impatient about it or something like that or just filling out a balance. But this is your divine time. And this is things being balanced. These are things being healed. This is Sagittarius energy. Okay. And then we got the devil reverse, which means that you're letting go of some sort of addiction or obsession or something like that or devilish type energy. That's Capricorn. So you going through this divorce, you know, you're realizing that, hey, you know, this may not have worked out for me, but I still have a happy future ahead of me, Virgo. And I'm happy that you see that because a lot of people have a hard time dealing with that. This was a major life lesson for you with the Hierophant energy, Taurus energy. You know, you learned a powerful lesson behind this. And the Hierophant talks about marriage too. It talks about tradition, you know, all that stuff. You might be wanting to get married to someone else. You might want to release this and marry someone else because we have the Ace of Cups here with the Three of Wands. Like, so this could talk about new opportunities coming in for love. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. So, you know, it's time for you to move on. Empress. Libra Taurus energy. So you may be having, um, so you may be moving on with uh, that's your divine feminine energy or, you know, another feminine energy that you fall in love with. Or spirit is telling you that, you know, your counterpart, you know, or just, you know, a soulmate or something, love is coming your way. You know, this could be a new family, new children, you know, um, or the empress could represent um, being abundant, like um, starting a business or something like that. It doesn't have to be children or someone pregnant. But yeah, like there are many opportunities to come forward for you, Virgo, as soon as you get this divorce, most definitely. Okay, let me move on here. Holy Spirit, what is this uh, conniption about? Yes, damn. Somebody is not happy, Virgo. We got the wheel of fortune reverse. Bad luck, bad karma, okay? Someone's on the bottom of the wheel right now. Sad squirrel. <laughs> Need I say more? Somebody is not fucking happy. Damn, we got the king of swords in reverse. Aquarius energy. King of swords in reverse. He's narcissistic, manipulative, controlling, judgmental. Um, but he could also talk about somebody who's kind of aloof. Like, not really too much caring left or right what the fuck happens. Um, but I really feel it's the other. I feel like somebody here is, like, really, really pissed off. And the King of Swords are reverse. He can, you know, when he's narcissistic or whatever, he can have a filthy mouth, too. What, what else is the connection? What's the King of Swords in reverse in the Sad Squirrel? Someone's having a fit because maybe you've been enlightened to what kind of gold digging energy they are. We got the hangman here um, being enlightened, viewing things from another perspective differently than before. Things like that. Then the nine of pentacles in reverse. It's like a gold digger hustler type energy here. Someone who's only focused on their image. You know, they want to look like they the bomb without even putting in the work to be the bomb. You feel me? Like that type of energy here. So maybe you've been enlightened about how this person was just gold digging you. They didn't really you know, too much care about anything other but controlling and manipulating you. 
Maybe they got found out and they're feeling trapped and restricted and they're getting bad luck over it. And they're having a fucking fit. What else? Somebody throwing a fit. Okay, Knight of Cups. And then we got the Six of Wands in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Damn, and then hold on, Death's reverse. This kind of tells me that, the, but this Knight of Cups, this could talk about someone um, wanting to come in to offer a cup of love to somebody or maybe apologize or something or say, I love you. Maybe you try to offer this person something and they turned you down or maybe they try to offer you something after the fact that you found, after you found them out, this person probably could have tried to offer you another cup of love and there was no victory. You turned that shit over. You, was, you took that cup. I don't want to pour my water, but you took that cup and was like, <laughs> you know, that type of energy. Okay. Somebody's not happy about that. That is no victory. Somebody's in their ego about that. Six of Wands reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse. Somebody here might be drinking to um, like to numb the pain, or someone here just lacks inner joy. They're very smug. So someone you may someone here may try to offer you, you know, this energy that you're divorcing or going through a divorce with or whatever. They might try to come in and offer you a cup of love, you know. And it's just a Knight of Cups. You know, it's not like you know, it's like a King of Cups or even like an Emperor energy. Like they're just coming in to give you something small time. You turned them down, and they are not happy about that. They are not freaking happy. Okay, now we got the happy squirrel. What's the happy squirrel about? Oh, there's some sort of shocking discovery here. Somebody's about to be happy. There's about to be a tower. This is a happy tower. This is like, not like, uh, you know, I'm knocking everything down and fucking your shit up. This is like, you're about to get a surprise. It's going to shock the shit out of you. And it's going to be something to celebrate here with the four of wands. This could talk about a marriage. Someone could be getting married here. This could be some sort of celebration or something like that. What's the tower, the uh, happy square and the four of wands about? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? That could be upright. Five of Pentacles. Hold on. It's the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles reverse can talk about being feeling undervalued at a job or something like that, or overworking, or someone here who's not working with enough conviction or lazy. This is the energy of somebody who feels like that they were not appreciated in this relationship that you were in. This could be you or the other person, but somebody here that you're divorcing, they may not um, feel like they were appreciated. And they always feel like they were out in the cold. Someone here had a poverty mindset. Someone was always worried about what they didn't have. Someone here had commitment issues. They were holding secrets here with the high priestess in reverse. What else? Nine of Wands, somebody was always on their guard, you know what I'm saying? Like, battle-worn, like, you were just tired. Like, battle-worn energy, battle-weary. What's the Nine of Wands? And I'm going to get you some advice. Yeah, the Sun in reverse, pessimistic. Like, someone's, like, expecting for something negative to happen. You know, Seven of Swords in reverse energy, which can talk about things not working out as planned. So somebody here, when you, this relationship that you may be departing from and by means of divorce or whatever, Cap, I mean, I almost called you Capricorn, Virgo. You might be dealing with Capricorn, who knows? Um, this is a person that's not happy. They really have a lot of healing they need to do, okay? And um, they're really negative. They're always on the guard, always got their wall up. They don't want to let their wall down. And, they, and because of that, things never work out for them. And they expect it at this point. This could be an energy that's always going around expecting for people to hurt them and then get surprised when they actually get hurt. That You can actually manifest that to happen. You can not only manifest good things in good situations, you can manifest failure too. If you're in a relationship with someone, whether or not, and it doesn't matter whether or not they've already cheated on you, to be real, okay? I've tested this theory out, trust me, okay? 
All right. If you are in a relationship with somebody and you're still just worried about what happened to you in the last relationship and, and you're just expecting for it to happen in this relationship or you're just worry, worry, worry that it's going to happen, it will happen. You will manifest it. So this could be someone who's always manifesting, you know, their own defeat and their own failures in life due to their mindset. And maybe they may not understand that. OK, so I try to be, you know, understanding of karmics and karmic situations, you know, because. You know, we're, we've all been in karmic energy and we still go through karmic energy. We all go through things, you know, you just have to learn the lesson here. You know, I try not to, you know, bash too much, even though it's frustrating, you know, the things that people do, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. All right. So let me get you some advice here, Virgo. If you guys are married, you have deep love for this person. I don't doubt it at all. You don't have to be married to have deep love. But I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure you, you probably was with this energy for a very long time and you showed him a lot of love and you did everything you could, but things just wouldn't work out, you know? Sometimes it just doesn't. Like I told you about my situation, my husband and I didn't become, we didn't really start being at peace with each other and liking each other until we were ready to head towards divorce. We just focused on being friends, you know? That's all we can do. He moved on and got him and got with a nice woman that treated our kids well and everything. And I moved on, you know, and we just found our peace that way and then, you know, end up passing away. But I'm just saying it, it was good to be able to after all that fighting that me and my husband went through. And I mean, we fought. We were even domestic. I didn't go front. We were domestic and everything. You know, it was at the at the end. It was extreme. It was just good to be able to just have that peace. I mean, we were not like best friends forever, but I'm just saying like. You know, it was good to just be able to see him as a friend and, and let go of all the resentment, all the grief and the sorrow and the same for him and just focus on just being there for each other and for the children. It really worked out best for us that way. And I hope that that works out for you if you're going through that. I really do. OK, I'm not a marriage counselor. I can just share my experience. OK, but I will tell you that life is short. OK, because my husband passed away without any kind of warning, you know. So, you know, you may be going through a, a dark situation with your significant other. You know, everybody goes through shit. But, you know, remember at the end of the day that you're still going to be family, okay? And, you know, even though things may seem kind of dark right now, you know, just try to see the light in it and just try to be patient, okay? Um, it says manifest. You're always manifesting, whether you're aware of it or not. Manifestation is based on your thoughts, and you're being asked to manifest consciously through positive thinking so you attract into your life exactly what you're wanting. I just said that. I literally just said that. Then we have compassion. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself, to give yourself a break. Instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend, be a loving comforter who always has your back. All right? So have compassion for yourself, okay? Um, check in. When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier? Excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. So Spirit is saying to check in with yourself, okay? And one thing I also want to say about compassion, you know, naturally when you're going through a, a breakup or whatever you go through you may start beating yourself up a little bit about what happened how you failed at it i want to tell you something about forgiveness okay you have to forgive yourself because at the moment that you made whatever decision it is that might not have been such a good decision you were thinking that that was the best decision at that time you were making that decision with the purest intention in mind okay so when you hooked up with this person you didn't know it was gonna fall to shit not not trying to call nobody's marriage yet i'm just saying you didn't think it was gonna fall apart you know, and it did, you know what I'm saying? But if, you know what I'm saying, don't beat yourself up for that, you know, and hopefully they don't beat themselves up for that because at that moment when you guys got together, you know, you guys had good intentions. So please, you know, I know a lot of people like they look at divorce as just failure. And I know, I know society, when you tell them you're going through a divorce, they just look at you like you failed, you failed, you know, and that makes people want to stay in toxic situations that they don't need to be in because they're so scared of that whole narrative of being a failure, of, be, of being known to have made a mistake. And that is what really caused a lot of fighting between me and my uh, husband, because, you know, I, we, you know, it's like, okay, we're married now, we have kids and I'm invested. If I, if this falls apart, I'm going to look like an idiot. You know, I can have that. So I fought with him and I fought with him and I fought with him to try to make it work because I absolutely did not want to appear to be that way to the world and to my kids and to my family too. You know, you know, I grew out of that and he did, you know, cause I'm sure that he felt the same way, you know, shit happens, you know, but anyways, let me get you one more card and I'm gonna let y'all guys go. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ramble, but I like to try to share, you know, my experience, you know, not saying that this is your situation. It may not resonate for you, but I'm just saying, you know, 
be, you know, be easy on yourself. Forgive yourself of things you've done in the past because at the moment you made those decisions, you were acting in your purest self, your purest form, okay? You were just being innocent, okay? Spirit is saying, live out loud with your Sigi. And look, here we go. Another manifestation card. Bam. You manifest your destiny. You manifest everything, okay? Um, Yasigi Live Out Loud says, express yourself. You have something to say. Share your voice and your magic. Express your you-ness. So, Spirit is saying to express yourself. You know, speak what's on your mind, you know? Um, and it says the way you express yourself won't make everyone happy, and that's okay. You are not meant to. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And her declaration says, I am free to express myself fully. So, express yourself. You know, it's okay to be who you are, okay? It's okay to feel who you, feel whatever you need to feel. It's okay to be who you are. Okay, um, let me look up Ma Jajiji. I, I need to really look up how you say that name. Okay, manifestation. Showers of blessings are yours. You are a rainmaker, master manifester, shapeshifter, alchemist, and sorceress. Open your hands and your heart, Okay. Yes, make it rain. You are manifesting big. This has been a long time coming. You are co-creating with spirit. Match the energetic frequency, the ashe of your desire. Ashe means so be it in your ruba. Okay, that means you know you're calling on the universe to give it to 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 give whatever it is that you're manifesting. Okay, so when you say so, and I say that a lot of my messages, I'll say ashe, like have a nice. I hope that everyone has a great day. Ashe, that's saying so be it. You know, may the universe grant you a nice day. You know. Um, close your eyes and see your blessings. Fill them in your bones. Ask, believe, act, allow, receive. And the declaration here says, divine blessings flow to me so easily. So you can say that divine blessings flow to me so easily. You're powerful, Virgo. Okay, most definitely. All right, so I'm going to end your reading there, Virgo. I really hope that resonated for you. And I hope that you enjoyed it because I certainly enjoyed reading for you. I do every time. You know, all you guys are awesome. And it's really, really it feels good to me to be able to give guidance and also share my experiences as well you know my fail throughs <laughs> you know i tell my kids all the time my fail throughs are supposed to be your to do's you know not to do like fail like me but like learn from it you know what i'm saying like you know my fail throughs are like a list of things not to do i might have worded that wrong but you know what i mean okay <laughs> all right virgo so god bless you guys for watching and thank you guys so much again for all the love and support you show the channel please thumbs up the videos and also check out the virgo playlist that i have available okay have a great night bye